What's going on guys and welcome on back some more Horizon Zero Dawn. I moved up a smidge from the last episode. We're in a uh, cutscene area so we're going to let that play. As I eat a donut. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman. The one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. This is insane. The, the balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <sighs> I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Um... the uh do all the side stuff or anything before you continue on I got home oh.
says you'll go right into the next one. We'll just go. So as you go right into the next one, so we should be able to do ah, you know what? Let's do that other let's do this one. Let's do that first. Let's do that one. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat. But bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little Huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. I hear folks keep disappearing in the night. Deserters, if you ask me. Always being Deserters. used. The Kestrels are strong. But...
cool. Three dead trees. Okay. That died. Luckily, we can just do a switch real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Three dead trees. Just like Vanasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Stop here. Time to climb. Okay. He'll corrupt his own. All right, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Everything useful has been stripped. A dead machine. This had been hunting. Looks it's been gathering components, probably for ammo. Damn these fucking stupid ass fucking birds, dude. Most annoying fucking thing in the game. God damn, bro.
fucking hate those things more than... Uthid took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. Next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man, and a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seemed trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards at once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had... Uthid, I don't care what you did. I... I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. The High Priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor? Sacrifice? True sacrifice? The kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Edaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Edaman's just a child. Yes. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. She's coming for us! Right. 
down the zone. Move it! We'll get the rest as soon as they arrive. Up and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. to level 36, so that's cool. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Fucking hey, bunch of cheaters, bro. Hang up the gun! 
goddamn fucking thing! of the marbles. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Let's go. Really? No one has potions? Cross there and we'll have him. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight! God. Kill the traitor. Kill the Nora. The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthe. Okay, fucking cheating game. Sun's judgment upon you! <laughs> For the faith, victory! The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Yo, why is this dude coming for me, like, straight out? I 
Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. On your pathetic life, Luthid. Up to his perch. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shund, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohu Adiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Wadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for? Okay, okay. We'll look right at a campfire. We'll go there and pause, and leave it at that. Alright, we'll pause here, leave it at this, and we'll pick back up in the next episode and do this and hopefully get to the main menu, or main, main menu, main mission. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching.